hate change. Ugh. One month, seriously, just one month, I would like to get through our budget meeting without having to make major changes to the budget just once. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are on a debt-free journey to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt as quickly as possible. We are here to motivate you and show you all the ins and outs of things that we learn along the way. So if that interests you, we would love to have you join our family and click that big old red subscribe button down below. So today I want to talk to you about the changes we had in our budget from our original plan, which I will link up in the eye in the sky. And in that video, I had not yet had the budget meeting with Mauricio. Basically what happens in our budgets is I do the budget and then Mauricio and I sit down and Mauricio reminds me of things or we discuss things and I remember things and inevitably our budget changes every time every single time not even joking it changes constantly so today i'm going to show you some of the changes that we made there aren't that many but they were sizable enough that we had to go ahead and adjust them so the first one i wanted to talk to you about was swim team registration melina will be trying out for a local swim team this year yes she is only six but in northern virginia swimming isn't a hobby it's a sport like a solid sport you are a swimmer from the very first moment you can get in the water I'm not even kidding so swim team season is upon us well swim team registration is upon us and I did not realize since swim team doesn't actually start until June I had planned on having it in the budget in June but it is now so we had to move some stuff around and I wasn't sure how much that was going to be I put in $250 for the registration fees but legit had no clue the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is something that is in my YouTube category so as you know I have a PO box and frequently people mail me things that are so amazing and wonderful and kind and I even did a video which I'll link up here on something that one of you sent me it was amazing I wanted to say thank you for some of these gifts in a super special way and I couldn't think of a way and I kept debating and and I wanted it to be more than just a thank you note and I finally came up with a solution. I went to minted.com and I saw these books and normally they are Christmas books but I was able to edit them to be what I wanted. So I made you know just this cute little book with some pictures of us and a little bit about our debt-free journey. For those of you who have sent me gifts in the mail previously and I haven't thanked you, it's not that I didn't wanna thank you, it's that I could not think of a way to thank you enough. So I am gonna be putting these in the mail this week, so hopefully you will be getting them sometime soon. Maybe you'll even get them by the time this video comes out. The third thing that changed our budget was shoe repair. I have this pair of Tom's shoes, which I love, and they are beautiful and look gorgeous. And I don't know what happened to the heel, they're old, but the heel started dry rotting. I mean, it was weird. It was just like breaking into pieces. It just was falling apart. And so I knew I was gonna have to replace the heels on those. I sat, had two other pairs of shoes that I was like, well, as long as I'm going to the shoe repair place, I might as well drop them off too. And they were more expensive shoes as well. You know, cheap shoes that I buy at like pay less, I obviously would not spend this kind of money on. But when shoes are more expensive, I go ahead and invest in having them resold or rehealed or whatever. Each one of the three pairs of shoes was $25 to fix. And the last change to the budget is $150 for the new external hard drive. That external hard drive I was gonna buy last month and I ended up not buying it. So I did roll it over to this month's budget, but I didn't do it before we had the budget meeting I kind of forgot and 
then I watched the video and it reminded me I need to put that back in. So I put that back in for $150. It probably will not cost $150, but you know, I like to have too much rather than not enough money in my budget. So several people have been asking me about my jars and these jars represent the largest debt we have. Each bean represents $100. Since we owe just under $20,000, actually it's a lot less than that, but you'll have to wait until the end of the month to find that out. And I haven't moved the beans over. So each one of these beans, because they represent $100, there are about 200 beans left in this jar to go into this jar and this is the total of what we owe. In the beginning when we first made these and there was very little in this jar, it was a little demotivating. I would not recommend you do this until you're like at least a quarter of the way done. But now that we're almost done with this debt, it's getting awesome. So you might see this go down in the next couple of days. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.